Hey everyone, it's Ross, and I wanted to start off by saying that this topic is going to be a little bit controversial. I know that a lot of people have a differing opinion of what you should call with reasoning, but this is all based on my own personal experience. And as such, I do encourage you to make your own experiences by getting out there and playing GOAT format. So to explain reasoning quickly, you play it, your opponent guesses a level of a card, and then you take the cards from the top of your deck until you reach a normal summonable monster. Then you check this monster to see if the level of the monster is the same as what the opponent declared. If not, it's special summoned, but if your opponent got it right, it is sent to the graveyard. Before I talk to you about what you should declare with reasoning, I'm going to talk to you about what you definitely should not <laughs> be declaring with reasoning. I'll start off with 9, 10, and 11. Okay, so I think the best card you can possibly get with this is Andro Sphinx, and if you look at the card on screen, you will see that it's not actually that good. Uh, so that's enough said about that. Do not declare anything above level 8, because you won't get anything good. Your opponent's very, very unlikely to be playing any of these monsters in the first place. Level 1 and level 3 are kind of in a similar situation. You don't really see any cards of this level being played at all but when looking through the card list for level 2 I was really surprised to actually see some cards that I've seen used in Reasoning Gates um, specifically there are two cards the Hand of Neftis and Cyberstein. Granted neither of these are particularly good cards and I wouldn't recommend declaring level 2 off of Reasoning simply because of these two cards but I still thought it was worthy of note. Now, of the remaining levels, I believe all of these can be considered when making calls. And here is my reasoning. <laughs> level 7, the least likely of the remaining numbers. However, some people like to throw in a level 7 here and there in order to throw off their opponents. Levels 5 and 6 should be considered for Air Knight and Jinzo respectively, which leaves us with two real options, level 8 and level 4. These are the two options that I find myself picking the most frequently. And this is all down to the monsters that they relate to, Sacred Crane and Dark Magician of Chaos. There are many different variants of Reasoning Gate around, however these two cards remain consistent in all builds that I have seen at least. When playing against Reasoning Gate, there are many different situations you can find yourself in. The one exact situation we can all find ourselves in though, is your opponent activating Reasoning as the first card they actually play. So let's talk about level 8 first. Dark Magician of Chaos, when it's summoned, will bring back any magic card from the graveyard that you have previously spent, including the reasoning you just played in order to get it. This of course makes Dark Magician of Chaos very versatile as it can be a combo extender, a draw power, a magic and trap destroyer in the form of Heavy Storm, or able to make the final big push by getting back Dimension Fusion and getting back all of your banished monsters. There's no doubt about it that Dark Magician of Chaos is the best monster you can get off of Reasoning. There are a lot of skilled players out there that suggest picking 8 is the way to avoid the worst case scenario when playing against Reasoning Gate, but this rationale also has to be balanced against the most likely scenario. And the most likely scenario is that your opponent will get Sacred Crane off of Reasoning. So let's talk about Sacred Crane, which is the level 4 option for Reasoning. Now if you summon a Sacred Crane off of Reasoning, you will get an extra card from its own effect. So in other words, the effects of Dark Magician of Chaos and Sacred Crane are fairly similar. Of course, Dark Magician's effect is a lot better because it is able to add any spell from your graveyard, but adding a card from your hand no matter where it's from is always a good thing. And although some of the best players may disagree with me, I think the most likely scenario wins out over the worst case scenario. In other words, on the first turn at least, I believe that you should be picking level 4 as your option for reasoning. Because in reality, the worst case scenario is not if Dark Magician gets summoned off of reasoning. The worst case in reality is if you get a Sacred Crane off of reasoning and then tribute that off for a Monster Gate and then get Dark Magician of Chaos. There will be more magic cards in the graveyard this way for Dark Magician to choose from the graveyard. Now bear in mind, this is a choice made with no prior knowledge of the deck and no prior knowledge of any of the monsters that are contained within this deck. Further into the game, Dark Magician of Chaos does become more powerful with more options in the graveyard to choose from. 
but in the end of the day the correct choice will always be informed by your own experience and what you see on the board before you. Knowing when and what levels to choose with Reasoning Gate is part of the skill you will learn from actually playing the game. Having said that, I will, if there's demand for it, make a video on more advanced strategies with reasoning, but that video will be very long. <laughs> In conclusion, I would choose level 4 because it avoids the worst case scenario more times than level 8 would on the turn 1. But there is an argument against it. I would love to hear what you have to say about reasoning in the comment sections below. But that's all I have to say about reasoning, so I've been Ross and I'll see you on the next video.